Okay, here's the Russians talk set that I refinished on my Waffenworks AK-74. And it's pretty funny because when I first got this Russians talk set uh, two years ago, this is very close to the exact color that it was when I originally got it. This is like just the same as the original color. And then uh, after owning it for several months or so, I refinished it. And I think I used like a red oak color, uh, you know, kind of a darker red. And it was beautiful. And it was like that for about a year or so. Now that I refinished it again, uh, it's pretty much the exact color that it was when I first got it. So that's pretty cool. I think it looks really nice. And I haven't shown my Waffenworks AK-74 for quite some time. I love it. Uh, very happy that I have it. Uh, I've heard some bad, you know, reviews about Waffenworks after I purchased mine. Uh, I got this one in uh, early 2013. Okay. And after purchasing it, I've on YouTube and on forums, I've read some negative reviews and I've had no issues with mine at all so I don't know if it's just the more current ones that are they're having issues with uh, I don't know if they've got the issues straightened around you know I don't know if they're good now but from my experience with the Waffenworks AK-74 rifle I recommend it okay US made barrel US made receiver you got a Tapco G2 trigger group and then everything else is from the Bulgarian parts kit okay it originally came with a non-chrome lined uh, muzzle brake but it did not have any uh, US tampings on it so it, it could have been originally from the Bulgarian parts kit but I ended up purchasing a chrome lined Bulgarian muzzle brake because I shoot a lot of corrosive ammunition with this AK uh, standard gas tube okay I believe the barrels are supplied by um, Green Mountain or ESS. Uh, at the time when I bought my Waffen Works, uh, I heard that at the time they were being made with ESS barrels. And uh, they seem to be a pretty good barrel. Uh, it is chrome lined. Okay, very nice receiver made by Waffen Works. I think sometimes you'll find them made by Nodax Pud. Okay. Here is a an East German Bakelite 30 round magazine. I have some Wolf uh, Military Classic Full Metal Jacket 545. Try. I think this is uh, hmm 59 grain. I can't remember. Something like that. kind of hard to do this with one hand here. There we go. <clears throat> uh, Ismash uh, Bakelite Pistol Grip. Or it might be Tula. I can't remember. But really nice dark color Bakelite Pistol Grip. Flip it around. Came out really nice, man. Lightning cut. Nice rivets, nice dimples. This has a KG gun coat finish. Really nice AK. Alright, there she is. I'm loving it. Love the color. Yeah, just look at that stock. Look at the grain. Really, really nice. And, uh, I mean, you never know what's going to happen in the future, but as of now, I can't see myself doing anything else with this rifle. I really plan on leaving it just like this. Alright, thanks for watching, and uh, comment, and uh, have a nice day.